Hello, Monica. Hi. How was your day? Uh, I'm fine. What did you do today? Um, nothing. You didn't work. Oh, um, yes. Uh huh. So, what did you do? Monica, are you still there? Okay, maybe Monica has a little bit of technical problems. Wendy Lisette, how are you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. 
my day was bad. I'm oh. sick. Hi, Lisette. What's wrong? I have a headache mm -hmm. and fever for two days in a row. Oh, no. Are you taking medicine? Yes. I I go I went to the east mm -hmm. and I have um you urinary infection. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, it's it's not nice. It's very you feel bad, huh? Yes, teacher. I imagine. I can imagine. It's not the feeling. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi, Lisa. I hope you feel better. <laughs> okay. And Wendy, Diana, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah? Yes, it's all, it's all good. <laughs> no problem at work today? No, it was more easy to go than yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Yes, today, tomorrow. Today you went to the office. No, no, in home office again. Oh. Tomorrow I'll go to the office. Ah, that's right, three days. You told me three days. Yes, tomorrow okay. is the day. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to be home. Yeah, it is more relaxing and more, more, I don't know how to say that the fact that I am not late in home, like every day I, I go to my work. Uh -huh. That. <laughs> you are not late, like... I mean, I don't come back. In... Oh, for the traffic. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yes, it's true. Because you are home. So when you finish, you, you are home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. For me, the only, I like, I like working at home, but you have to be careful for, for example, for me, many times, it, the noise in my, in my mm -hmm. area. The buses. I, the buses, the, the music, the people. And I don't control the neighbors, so sometimes it's a little difficult to work in this, in this environment. Yes, it mm -hmm. has been difficult. That's the only problem, but yeah, we try. Yes. Okay. Well, we are going to go ahead and begin. The first thing we're going to do is with our partners, you're going to have the opportunity to practice your recipe. Yesterday we began Today, we have to continue with the people that didn't present the recipes. Remember, the recipes were first, then, next, and to how to prepare your different food. So in this moment, with your partners, you're going to practice telling the recipe, and then we're going to come back and continue finishing the recipes from yesterday. Okay? Okay. Any questions? Not teacher. Okay, let's go.
Okay. Are we ready? No, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué hay que hacer? Eh, la presentación. Eh, lo de la receta. Yes. Lo que hicimos ayer. En los que faltaban. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. 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 Wendy, you ready? Wendy, but you presented yesterday or no? Yes. Uh, yesterday, I... Can you listen? Uh, yes, go ahead. Yes, I can hear you, Wendy. Okay, I, I, yesterday I don't. Como que se te corta, Wendy. Solo quedó yesterday I don't. Yesterday I did the homework. I, I explained. Yes, that's why I say. Yesterday you explained, Wendy. Okay, the homework today. Yes. Ah, okay. For me, and my prepare the first you need to last all bread, and you put mayonnaise in, on the bread, mm -hmm. and then you put put. Uh, lettuce, ham, cheese, and finally you will put the second slice of the bread and ready you can eat. That's it, super easy, like Wendy, you see? Wendy, excellent demonstration for yesterday to make a sandwich. You explain yeah. and then the class, we we say ah it's a pizza it's a pizza it's tacos we try to decide what is the recipe wendy gave the presentation yesterday but it's the same for today all right let's see uh, uh let's see let me think if i remember amanda did you pass yesterday no right it's a lot of people that i mucho que no vinieron ayer que hoy si quiere uh-huh eric all right eric go ahead Okay, first uh, chop the tomato and then chop onions after cut the lemon and after, after open the shells, then, then uh, ¿Cómo sería vaciar? Don't know, it's your homework, Eric. Eh, ah, que como echar en un recipiente, vaciar, no sé qué palabra. I don't know. You eh. investigated. How do you say? Um, empty. Empty into a container. Um, next to mix in in the container and after put the lemon put the salt and half set half set size sauce and um, black sauce and finally taste wow it's very complicated your recipe eric mm, i don't know yes. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 it's very complicated. What is Eric's recipe? What do you think? Cocktail of the shell. Ah, that's why for the ingredients, the tomato, the shell. Oh, ah. Okay, Eric. Yes. Good job. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Um, Angelica. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Angelica. You ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Angelica. Well, first, you need to prehead a pan. 
it should have two tablespoons of oil on it. Then cut in little pieces the capsicum, tomato, and onion. After, when the pan were ready, throw the vegetables. Next, in a bowl, scramble two eggs and cut in slices the sausages. And when the vegetables were fried, mix them with the eggs and sausage. Add a pinch of salt and let it simmer until it's ready. Finally, serve on a dish and enjoy it. Angelica, very good. I, I like you improved from yesterday. Yesterday, a little bit of problem, but today, excellent. Excellent explanation, Angelica. Good practice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. And what is Angelica's recipe? Is said the scrambled eggs. It's oh. a sandwich uh, con eggs. And it's como una combinación de sandwich con... con Ya lo dijeron, que es una mezcla de huevo con, con bastantes vegetales. <laughs> ya, ya lo he visto, pero no sé cómo se llama eso. Pero That's right. Angelica, what is the name? Uh, it was scrambled eggs with sausages. Scrambled eggs with sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Diana was. I think the name I want is omelet. I think it was omelet. omelet. Okay, uh -huh. exactly. But it's like an omelet. No. <laughs> but yes. Angelica said scrambled eggs. Combination, uh, the sandwich and omelet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's take a look. Monica Escobar. Yes. Go. Okay. Oh, first, clean the strawberry cut ten in half or in four pieces. Then put the strawberry in a cooking pot. Uh, add sugar. Next, cut over long heat for 30 minutes. After that, mash the strawberry with a fork. Finally, mix and cook 10 more minutes and ready. Ah, what did Monica prepare? Excuse me? No, no, the class. What did Monica prepare? What is Monica's recipe? Quien sabe, que que lo que preparó Monica? What's Monica's recipe? It was strawberry jam. I think, yes. Monica? Yes. Yes, Diana, good job, good job. All right, Marlon Barrientos, it's your turn. Good evening. Uh, first, you take milk, banana, and sugar. Then put the sugar, the banana, and the milk in a blender. And um, finally, uh, we need uh, um, a cereal mix. No sé cómo se dice, teacher. Licuarlo. <laughs> I don't know, Marlene. You investigated. Um, use the blender. Uh huh. Correct. Oh. Mm -hmm. Finally. Um, and what is Marlon's recipe? What did Marlon prepare? ¿Quién puede adivinar? ¿Qué? What did Marlon prepare? No? Nadie tiene idea? All right. I think. I think it's a milkshake. Marlon? Yes. Yes, it's a milkshake. Como un licuado de banana. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. Ah, nombre, bárbaro soy. Excellent, I understand. Los compañeros no, pero yo sí te entendí, Marlon. Excellent. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? I think it's Vanessa Carolina.
Vanessa, you ready? Ready. Okay, Vanessa. First, we was the baseball. Well, then we feel the cucumber, tomato, lettuce, then check the baseball. Then we mix the baseball. Then we finish, we put lemon and salad. Final. Mm. What did Vanessa prepare? Prepare. What is Vanessa's recipe? I think it's a salad. I think, yes. I think it's a salad with lemon. Yes, yes, salad. Vanessa, yes. what is your recipe? Yes, salad. Ah, it's salada. Mm, <laughs> salad. No esforzarse. Ah, ah. Fresh, fresh salad. Fresh salad. Fresh salad. Mm -hmm. Fresh salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, vale. mm. All right. <laughs> Lisette Castillo, you ready? First, a comal overload after mix the water and corn flour. Mix beans and cheese. Next, please, a little of the mixture in the middle of the tortilla. Pour a bowl and make the tortilla. Place them in the pan. Finally, wait about four mi minutes or until they, they are gold brown on both sides. And that's it. Okay, what did Lisa prepare? <clears throat> uh huh. What did Lisa prepare? Maybe pupusas. I think you are right, Mario. I mm. think pupusas. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Lisa? Yes, teacher, pupusa. Ah, excellent, excellent. Ayer vimos cómo se dice relleno o rellenar. How do we say it, Lisette? Me gustó que usaste otra palabra, aunque no usaste esa, pero que, how do we say rellenar? Mix, creo que dijo ella, mix. Stuff. Correct, oh. Angélica. Excellent. That's right, stuff. Uh-huh, very good. Good memory, good memory. All right, Diana, you ready? Yes. Okay. No, no, wait. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, yeah. First. Ya, ya entendí, lo a leer. Okay, Diana, go ahead. <laughs> First, break two eggs into a bowl and shake them, shake them with a fork. Then mix with salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and mushrooms. Next, stir in a preheat pan. In about two minutes, turn around and finally place it on a plate and enjoy. Ah, I remember. Now you remember, Diana. What is Diana's preparation? It's an omelette. Yes. yes, yes, very good. S is an omelet. It's similar. It's similar to Angelica, but a, a little bit different, but good. Very good. Excellent, Diana. And I think the last one is Amanda or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, Amanda. Mm, ahorita, déme un segundo. Ahorita. Okay, I'm going to prepare. Um, um, uh, me está escuchando, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, eh, permito. Ay, Dios. Eh, lo único que. Man, aquí está. Um, relax. I go, yeah, relax. Yes. <laughs> relax. I, It's okay. Okay, I'm going to prepare a delicious meal. First, uh, we need the following ingre ingredients. 
box of bread, mayonnaise, tomato, onion, jam, and cheese. Then we must cut, cut the tomato and onion into a slice. Next, we extract, extract a slice of chip or and jam, and then uh, we spread the mayonnaise of the bread and place the and put the slice, tomato and onion, and the slice of jam and cheese, and finally we put another slice of bread and is and it's ready to eat. It's very okay. easy, Pichi. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's good. It's good. What is Amanda's recipe? A sandwich. I think, yes. I think it's a sandwich. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. very easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think we are finished. Vanessa Ramirez, did Vanessa, did you present? No. No, teacher. Ah, ya se me está escapando, va calladita. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and, Ma and Mario, right? No, ayer lo dije yo. Ah, Mario. Mm. Pero lo puedo repetir, no hay problema. Oh, excellent, excellent, Mario. Okay, Vanessa, and then Mario. Okay. Um, first, the cold breed is greater than then it is soaked with meat. Next step is mix it with banana, vanilla, cinnamon, sugar, egg, and butter. After that, caramel is made and placed in molds. Finally, it is, le it is left to bake. I, I don't, I really don't know. Really, 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 I, I, mm. no sé, alguien tiene idea, alguien tiene idea que hizo Vanessa? A cake? I'm not sure, but I think it's a flan, no. A flan, oh, maybe. It's a dessert. Uh-huh, what dessert, Vane? Budín. Ah, um. It's the bread, and that's it, the bread. Por eso yo decía, mmm, no se me había ocurrido. Yes, the bread, the bread with bullion. Okay, okay. Okay, good job, Vanessa. Good job, good using. Mario, you ready? Yes. All right, Mario. Okay. First, prepare the cornmeal and the grill. Next, stuff uh, the cornmeal with cheese and wait for it to cook. After, after that, uh, serve on plate uh, with sauce and pickle gavash. Finally, eat. <laughs> Aha, Mario. Uh -huh. Okay, what did Mario present? What did Mario prepare? Mm. De modificar sí. unas palabras. Sí, sí, sí. Good. La que cambió Mario es pickled cabbage. Esa tal vez es la que, que, que es nuevo para todos, pero this is, is Mario prepared pupusas. Correct, Mario? Yes. Yes, pupusas. Pickled pan, pack, sorry, pickled cabbage es curtido, pero más o menos. Más pico, o menos, sí. Sí, porque eh, los gringos no tienen curtido así como nosotros. Entonces, pickled cabbage es, o sea, el, el um, como en vinagre. Ajá. Uh -huh. El repollo en vinagre. No, no es exactamente curtido, pero así es, pickled cabbage. Ok. Very good. Hey, excellent job, guys. I'm very happy that now you are listening and using first, then, finally is excellent work. We're going to continue. Here, we are going to listen and answer these questions, okay? So listen and answer the questions for the listening. You ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, exactamente como lo hemos estado haciendo. 
escuchen y de qué es la receta cada uno. Here we go. I love this snack. To illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can okay. see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. What is the food? What is the food? I Popcorn. love this snack. Popcorn. Popcorn. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great it with up? chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Mm. Now let me get started. Which one? Which one is that? Which is the first step in making the bagel? First, cut in the half. Okay. And which word is not interchangeable? Not move. Which words you cannot move? First and finally. First and finally. Okay. Very good. The other words, next, after that, then you can change. Is no problem. But first and finally, you cannot change. All correct, the steps in making the bacon, the, make, the steps for making guacamole, the final step, and how to make popcorn, okay? The kernels, kernels are the corn. The one corn is a kernel. This is the kernel, okay? Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, great. Then, if we don't have questions, in this moment, we are going to talk about foods that you like, okay. foods that you love, foods that you don't like, and foods that you want to try. Okay, look in the chat, foods that you like, foods that you love, foods you don't like, and foods that you want to try. Do you understand the four topics? It's okay, the four, the four topics? Teacher, so we we need to uh, to ask to our partners. Correct. So I put. Let me put in the chat. So that way it's clear. As an example, hey Angelica, what food don't you like? What food? Uh, what food do you, ah, what food do you like? What food do you love? Okay, let me put one more time the complete question. So for example, what food for the negative is don't you like? For the positive, for example, what food do you love? Okay, or what food do you want to try as an example? And my partner says, ah, 
I want to try, ah, I want to try, for, for example, me, tengo curiosidad, no, no, but I want to try caviar. I, I never tried caviar, but tengo curiosidad, ¿por qué la gente paga tanto? Ah, and then my partner can ask me, oh, where can you eat caviar? How do you prepare? How much, how much does caviar cost? Okay. Eh, cualquier pregunta, pero eso es, vamos a continuar. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Any questions? Any words? Any vocabulary? Alguna palabra que no saben cómo se dice? Alguna pregunta que no están seguros cómo se puede preguntar? Teacher, y en el caso de que si queremos preguntar qué tanto te gusta esa comida, ¿cómo sería? Ah, excelente pregunta, Angélica. Así, how much do you like? Y la comida, así como está en el chat. Angélica, yo me acuerdo que dijiste lasaña. How much do you like lasaña? Y Angélica me va a contestar, oh, I like lasagna a lot. I love lasagna. I don't like lasagna. I hate, de acuerdo a su gusto. ¿Verdad? Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda antes de empezar? Me. Yes, Diana. And when you want to say like... Tortas de pescado o rellenas de pescado. Ah, so eh, we have eh, relleno or stuffed. Stuffed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Relleno, stuffed, stuffed, stuffed turkey, is... stuffed chicken, el relleno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay. Y por eso es que muchas veces cuando van al super y ven una cajita o algo para el relleno de los pollo americanos van a ver stuffing. Stuffing, el relleno, ese pan que le ponen, stuffing, porque mm -hmm. es el relleno, stuff. Or stuffed peppers. For example, maybe I say, ah, Amanda, do you like stuffed peppers? Ah, ¿te gustan uh, chiles rellenos? Y así como ya sabe, cuando escucha la palabra stuffed. Ok. Ok. So, so that stuff, would it be with E.T. at the end? Correct. Correct. Let me let me see. Ah, I didn't put. Sorry. Let me put the correct spelling for stuffed, and the pronunciation with T, Diana, with T, stuffed. Stuffed. Uh huh. It doesn't matter if it's um at first of fish, like an example, or after. It doesn't matter if I say stuffed fish or fish stuffed. No, no, it is necessary stuffed first, stuffed fish, stuffed okay. peppers. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any others? Ahora, ¿cómo se dice envuelto? Yo sé que muchos de ustedes les gusta comida envuelto. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, un pescado seco, envuelto en huevo. O ejotes, envuelto. How do you say envuelto? Wrapped. Excellent, Vane. Ah, lo buscaste, ¿verdad? Excellent. Wrapped. Se me ocurrió como acabamos de pasar Semana Santa. Ah, excellent, Liz. Ajá, excellent. Teacher, what do you say empanizado? Excellent question. ¿Alguien sabe cómo se dice empanizado? No. Ok. Es breaded. Breaded chicken. Breaded fingers. Breaded uh, mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Breaded. Ok. So. Remember, in this moment, the topic is food, 
and follow-up questions. How much does it cost? Where do you eat it? How do you prepare it? Uh, how, how much do you like it? Or why do you like it? Así, diferentes preguntas. Okay? Okay, okay right. teacher. Let's go.
All right. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, long empanizada está bien bread fish slice. No, uh, breaded breaded fish. Uh, normally you can say breaded fish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question. Yes. But it's with the stuff fish again. <laughs> okay. When when you know the difference, like when you say stuff fish, how do you know that it's relleno de pescado y no pescado relleno? Because it's not the same in Spanish. Because the first word, relleno de pescado o pescado relleno. Pescado is always going to be the opposite in English. Stuffed significa que lo que estás hablando está relleno, pero no está relleno de eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, si yo digo stuffed, yeah. si yo digo, por ejemplo, stuffed y cualquier comida, una verdura, stuffed pepper. Ah, entonces, que el chile está relleno. No está relleno de chile. El chile está relleno. Si yo digo, stuffed, si yo digo stuffed pepper o stuffed chicken or stuffed fish, lo que sea la segunda palabra, el, el fish, el chicken, significa que ese animal o ese producto está relleno de algo. Uh -huh. Y relleno de pescado. Entonces está en inglés sería relleno con pescado. Stuffed uh, with chicken, stuffed with fish. Ok. Uh -huh. Porque así, o sea, nosotros decimos relleno de pescado que, que está relleno de, pero en inglés es relleno con, stuffed with. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Me too. Sure. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Ok. Um, Mónica o yo. Como que se le fue a Mónica al Inter, no sé. Mónica. Teacher, ¿cómo, ¿cómo podría decir un platillo de... Mónica. Ok, creo que Mónica está tiene un poquito de problema. ¿Alguien escuchó lo que dijo? Solo alcancé a escuchar un platillo de... Ah, déjame ver. Un platillo de pulpo. Ah, octopus. Es octopus. Lo puede escribir, teacher. Es el animal, solo es octopus. Oh, okay. uh -huh, solo es el pulpo, porque los platillos, el plato, todo eso es de, de diferente. Por ejemplo, dicen, eh, um, eh, solo es octopus, pero le ponen el nombre igual que en español. No, por ejemplo, en vez de decir solo el lomo rollizo, entonces le ponen en inglés siempre le ponen por ejemplo eh, no sé lom, lomo primavera o lomo eh, asalteado entonces en inglés por eso es que siempre ven la, el menú y dice oh um, eh, o sea y en español solo somos más directos a la hora de escribirlo decimos eh, pasta con vegetales o pasta con eh, bolanesa entonces todos esos nombres en inglés simplemente le ponen cada restaurante como le quieren llamar ese platillo pero es pulpo uh, uh, es uh, octopus uh, snack octopus uh, entree octopus uh, dish simplemente yeah. y, uh -huh. tamal tiene algún nombre en inglés 
No, es no, solo tamal. Tamal. Yeah. Corn, corn tamal. Uh, yes, the different okay. tamal. Y, y eso es parte de la descripción, porque solo es tamal. Ok. Uh -huh. Igual que los tacos. Vas a ver tacos y en la descripción a la hora de pedirlo, ahí te va a ver chicken tacos, uh, beef ah, tacos. Okay. Ahí, ahí, es, ahí es donde va la descripción, pero no en el plato que está en el menú. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, guys. Have a good night. Mañana empezamos la unidad 5. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.